Hi folks, I hope everybody's doing good today. It's been a while since I did a video. Um, this has been my birthday week. Surprise, surprise. Uh, tomorrow is my birthday and it's been an off week on my chemotherapy, um, which means it kind of worked out pretty good where over the weekend I actually got to visit some friends and um, on Sunday uh, went out to kind of a brunch with my whole family celebrating my birthday. So um, things kind of worked out pretty good there. I'll give you guys an update later down the line on my chemo. Uh, I received more numbers in, and they continued to go down, which is good. In fact, they're down into a category they call undetectable, which is for the fast-growing cancer cells. So we're trying to knock this tumor into remission. I got three more months of chemo to go, so... Um, I still won't be doing as many videos as I like, but trying to get them in, and I want to get this one in. I picked up this knife I'm going to show on eBay last week and did some research. I actually uh, contacted Reed Cutlery, and Reed Cutlery is the special factory order recipient from Queen on this number 63 white bone, serial number five. The number 63 pattern is the rail splitter. So we'll take a look at that real quick. Um, let me go around here. I wanna show you a couple other new things. Um, when I contacted Tracy over at Reed Cutlery, um, she answered all my questions about the rail splitter, but I decided to look on her web on their website and I found this. And this is something that I'm going to show you next. Um, that's kind of a surprise. And here is something else that is new. This is a bone old timer. And this is something that's new. And we'll do a video on that as soon as possible. But over here I also got in the toenail clipper. And this is the jigged India jigged bone and I had thought that um, it was something I wouldn't like just because I seen the handle material on their website before the knives were finished and I wasn't impressed with it but um, it's quite a spectacular knife with actually a quite beautiful handle now, that being said, would I trade this for the smooth white bone version? Yes, in a heartbeat. Or even the ebony. But that one's pretty cool. We'll take a look at that down the line, too. Um, I know Tracy said that she's a um, Shatton Morgan fan. So, here, take a look at this. Can you give me any information on this? Um, this is the only one I've ever seen. <clears throat> I've seen on eBay um, some autos, or actually I think it's all about pocket knives, um, where it's actually autos and not a slip joint. But this is the only slip joint that I've ever seen. So I'm wondering if, Tracy, you got any information on that. That would help. But let's take a quick look around. There's some other stuff that's been out there. There's a K-Bar dog head from Union Cutlery. 
uh, one of the last knives made in that factory. Um, a first generation Tobacco Barlow by Bulldog. Uh, Mar and Grosh Trapper. Over here, a couple Boker Camps, Zebu, Zebu Horn, and regular Stag. Some more Stag Barlows. All really nice there. Here's my carry. Now, at this birthday party I went to on Saturday, um, I don't know why people still do that, where they lick the birthday card envelope. Um, you know, if you're just bringing it to a party, it's kind of gross. But I'm kind of glad they did, because I had to pull out... Let me move this light in here. I had to pull out the Moki, and in the sunlight... This thing is just spectacular to open up the open up the birthday envelopes. But that was a joy and a privilege to use that to open up all the birthday cards. So that's kind of my carry there. Um and then to kind of balance out because this is kind of a high end on the price range for the Moki, whereas this is a $26 Medford uh, look-alike. I'm not going to say counterfeit because they don't put Medford on there anywhere, but it's D2 steel, stainless steel, G10, all for $26 off Amazon liner lock. And of course, perfect for the Spidey flick. Beautiful grind. So that's been <clears throat> my right pocket carry for a while. So enough about that. Let's take a look at this special factory order for Reed Cutlery. Once again, here's the box. And without further ado, let's slide it out without doing any damage. Maybe a little too much light. There you go. Now these are serialized, and I got a hold of, uh, like I said, I got a hold of... Uh, Tracy Reed at Reed Cutlery and she told me yes this was one of one of theirs one of their special factory orders it was made in 2015 by Queen and you'll see the DFC the Daniels Family Corporation it was after um um after Bill Howard was there but this is still a real quality piece, and I'll show you that in a minute. <clears throat> but the serial number here is um, 05. Right there. And now there was 25 of them made that were serialized. And she said a handful of others that were... Um, non-serialized just regular um, rail splitters all still probably to use up the rest of the materials but they only wanted 25 of them Ooh, listen to that first thunderstorm of the season I have to go out and watch that for a little bit when I'm done here but um, look at these blades on the rail splitter and of course, you got your center swell here. Let's try and get Warthog out of the picture. But what I like about this one, they make two different rail splitters. One has the spay blade over here. This one has the pen blade. Um, the one that has the spay also has the coping blade and a clip point. The only difference is the pen blade. 
And as, as you can tell, these are a lot taller or thicker than a normal coping blade or a stockman. Um, everything is oversized. And you got your um, uh, beautiful caps, kind of like a canoe. Uh, what do they call those things? Um, bean, something bean. One of them beans. Kidney beans, maybe? I don't know. Um, <clears throat> here's the other side. My respiratory problem that I've had for the last few videos is getting a little better. I probably shouldn't have been out doing things all weekend. But it's the first time I actually felt good enough to go out and do something. So I did it. And it may have slowed down my respiratory recovery. But look at that bone. Look at that beautiful bone. 25 of these made. I found it at a great price, too. Um, 135 I know that sounds high. <clears throat> but I'm sure this is valued much higher than that. Um, especially since only 25 of them are made. You got Queen Cutlery Company, number 63. So you can get it to focus in. Well, you'll see that once I get it in the hand. There we go. Just some beautiful smooth white bone. The badge here says Reed Cutlery on it. And check out the snap on all these. Let's get this out of the way. Uh, that's not good. What the hell? Oh, it's the first time that happened. It's tight in there. Let's see. Let's take a look at this blade and see if it's got any blade rub. Might have just been the order that I tried to close them because there's no blade rub there it's weird how it kind of hit it right I should check for blade wobble no blade rub on that one No blade rub there either. That was odd. It's, I've opened and closed this quite a few times since I've had it. And never really had it hit like that. Let me check for blade wobble after we look at the tang. See, Queen, DFC, USA, D2 Steel. At least that's what I think it says. Okay, that was the pen blade. No, not really. It's nice and tight. Hmm. Yeah, that does say D2 on there. It's just really hard just the way it's stamped. I don't know if you can see that. But anyway, the rail splitter pattern. 
Is that a beaut or what? <clears throat> Where's my little uh, cleaning cloth? Number five out of 25. Beautiful finish on both sides, original edge. What the heck is this? And let's take a, another gander at these here. <clears throat> Just to make sure there's no rub. Which, I mean, you know, blade rub on a knife like this would be no big deal. Because it's hard to fit three blades together. So anyway, that's it. The rail splitter pattern, Reed Cutlery USA. Um, here's the website if you guys want to take a look around. Like I said, I went on there and found this. And this I'm going to do a video on this next. I don't want to say nothing about it now. Just to show you how cool it is with the screwdriver on there. I'm not even going to tell you who made that yet. But uh, shout out to uh, Reed Cutlery. ReedCutlery.com. Um, just doing this since they were so helpful. I didn't, they didn't give me any deal on anything. Uh, I, I paid full price for this. <clears throat> so anyway, let's, we still got time. Let's put out some smooth white bone, which is one of my favorite handle materials. And we'll put out the rail splitter. Um, the 73 Trapper from GEC. This was a gift from Andy, Andy King, Taz, which I cherish. Um, and just to show that you don't need high-end knives for some good smooth white bone, here is a Parker Sleeveboard Whittler. Look how nice and tight everything is here. Let's pull that out. So, my friends, there's three versions. I know they call this primitive bone. Um, it's just smooth white, smooth white. And if you want to even get technical, we could pull this Mar Mare and Grash, which they call, this is also made by GEC. Um... They call this smooth Appaloosa bone. But it's all smooth white bone to me. Until next time, my friends, take care. Peace. Bye-bye.